Hi, this is Chris. Thanks for stopping by my channel and thank you to those who have subscribed. I really appreciate you. Today I'm doing part three or page three of repainting my very first watercolor travel journal 40 years later. What I did was I, um, this is my very first one. I purchased the same tablet as close as I could find. It's a uh, Strathmore watercolor uh, paper, cold press. These are pages one and two that I did in a previous videos. See the playlist at the end or find the link in the description below. This week we'll do page three, which will be this page here at Mammoth Lakes Campground. I'm finding this paper is a little bit different than um, what I've been using since this. After I used this tablet, I started using um, Arches 140 pound cold press. And this is a little bit different, so it reacts a little bit different than what, what I'm used to. But I will be um, recreating these on this page. So I'll show you what I'm using. I have this uh, collapsible water cup. I really like these. I wish I'd um, had these a long time ago, but I don't know how long they've been out. They're by Faber-Castell. They're good for traveling because they're collapsible and then I don't need very much water, so I just put it down. Your brush can rest on these little um, indents here. So that's cute. And I have a selection of brushes. I have some natural fibers and mostly synthetic. I have some Winsor Newton and um, Robert Simmons. Those two are my favorite. So those are my brushes. And this is my palette. And I'll put a uh, graphic on the screen to show you which colors I use. These are all Winsor Newton colors. They're my basic colors, what I use when I travel and when I paint anything. And I have a few other colors um, that are would be difficult to mix, like turquoise and bright pink, that I'll use occasionally. But mostly these are the colors that I use. I have a piece of absorbent um, sheeting. This would be like a, a puppy piddle pad or um, a bed sheet for a toddler or even a disposable diaper. You can cut the elastic off where the legs are and it works the same. It absorbs the water right out of your brush. It's very good. I have a little spritzer bottle that I use to um, get my paints wet. So I think I'll start with the upper right. And I'm just going to rough in the square where I'm going to paint.
I'm going to um, put in some speckles. I like to do speckles. So I'm just mixing up some burnt sienna. on a toothbrush. This is a Micron 05. So I call this Forest with Cloud. Twenty-one. I'm going to continue with the others. I will probably fast forward most of that also because three little paintings could take a while. I'm sure you can't see this pencil drawing. It's really difficult to um, do a perspective drawing from a drawing where the perspective is kind of wonky already. This part, the perspective is not too bad, but the table tilts up a bit. So I tried to flatten out the table. And uh, it's a little bit wonky too, but we'll go with it. I'm going to do some negative painting in these areas, which means that instead of painting a tree trunk, I'll paint what's around the tree trunk. So I've dropped in a little bit of a brownish green here and here and here to act as distant tree trunks. So what I can do now is I can just paint in the negative spaces. And then we see the tree trunks coming to life.
So by painting just the negative shapes, painting around what I see as a tree or imagine as a tree trunk, I get this illusion of a deep forest in here. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'll paint the trunks um, lighter because they're on the edge of the forest and the sun will be shining in here. I'm going to add just a little bit more pine foliage up across the top. on the foreground and then I'll work on the bench and then I'll work on the details of the tablecloth with the rocks on it. Well, I didn't get the perspective on the bench really good, but it's a little bit better, I think, than the other one. And uh, it'll show up better once I outline it. This one is outlined in brown. I think I'll just use my black Micron. 
and outline it and finish it up. Then I'll do this one off camera and when I'm finished with this one uh, I'll show you the whole page. So I'll be back. I finished the third painting on this page. And so here is the first one and here is the second one. So that's my page three, before and after. Kind of hard to show everything on there. I'll put some still shots on there so you can uh, maybe see them better if you want to look at them closer. Next month we'll be doing page four. And that will be Tuolumne Meadows, Yosemite and Owens River and the Owens Valley. So come back next month for watercolor. In the meantime, come back every Monday. On the first Monday I do stitchery. On the second Monday I do collage. On the third Monday I do watercolor. And on the fourth Monday and if there's a fifth Monday I do book binding and junk journals. Have a great day painting. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.